Let's go over the progressions for the heel elevated squats. I have got a slant board here. If you are not able to get one of these, you can just raise your heels with a couple of plates or some books. Choose a height which works for you. If you feel like you're able to stay quite upright with a lower height, then work with that. If you feel like you're collapsing forwards a lot, maybe try and elevate the heels a little bit more. A full squat will look like this. You'll have a dumbbell or a kettlebell in front. I want you to hold this by cupping the top of the dumbbell or the kettlebell. Push your elbows forwards, spread your shoulder blades wide and keep them down away from your ears. Start with your feet around hip distance apart or maybe a little bit wider, whatever feels comfortable for you. Make sure you're pushing into your heels and your balls of your feet evenly rather than pushing into one more than the other. You're gonna control down as low as your inhale will allow and then you're going to control back up again and squeeze the bottom of your glutes in. Inhale through the nose, Exhale through the mouth. So I'm using my inhale to control down to wherever my mobility will allow. So stop when your inhale stops, then you're gonna drive up and use the exhale through the mouth to breathe into the obliques, into the psoas, to drive you back up out of the floor. If you feel like you're not at the stage yet to use a dumbbell or a kettlebell, you can just do this body weight as well. If you feel like you're collapsing forwards a lot, what you can also do is zombie squats. So that's having your hands out in front of you to counteract the weight. Since we're flowing through the reps and not exploding out of them for a short amount of reps, we're going to be incorporating the internal torque chain more. When you're in this position, I want you to focus on spreading the heels and spreading the butt cheeks apart. Create that tension as you control down and maintain it as you control back up as well. And you should feel like the knees will naturally align. Your core will naturally want to stabilize and switch on as well. 